when you want to head to an Aslan full of NPCs, monsters, and challenges such as Arisha, you need to be prepared and also you gotta know where you're going, alright? So today I'm going to show you guys how to get from Etria to Arisha. So first of all, what you want to do is talk to this man over here. This guy is go basically going to give you 25 notes. And with those 25 notes, you're basically going to get a weapon book. Uh, you know, uh, it's your choice. You can do whatever you want to do with your 25 notes. After that's done, uh, you want to get uh, over to, you know, where you can spawn boats and stuff. Uh, yeah, follow my path. At Arisha, you might encounter monsters and NPCs in fights. You often see bandits there and also... Man, this guy is not going to attack me, bro. What are you going to... Alright, let's go. Let's fight. Let's fight. Fight, bro. What you going? Where are you going? Oh, my God. What? Is that an exploder? I don't know what he did, but... If it was actually an exploder, bro, uh, yo, you guys gotta work this, bro. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so if you get to uh, Arisha, you might encounter monsters and NPCs uh, fights. So there's two types of giants monsters at uh, Arisha. So there's uh, there's Sharkos, aka uh, Megalodons. Uh, so before we do this, we talk about this. Let's build a sloop real quick and spawn it. The sloop is, by the way, really fast. So yeah, there's a two there's two type of giants monsters. Uh, there's a rock monster. There's also there's also sharkos. Um, you want to turn to the the right. So I don't know you guys, but I feel like daytime is like the best time I can you know uh, use to show you guys how to, to get your Arisha. So just keep moving forward and turn a little bit to the left right here uh, uh, until you see you know the statue over here and there should be you should uh, encounter a portal over over you know further over there and you might want to choose that turn to the left or right but see you can, as you can see over here there's a portal and you might want to you want you might want to pass this portal and by passing this portal you're gonna turn to the left and we'll be finally arrived to Arisha. There's nothing as simple as it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> we're, we're, whoa, I'm out I was about to crash or something. So yeah, uh, there's nothing as easy as that. Uh, and as you can see, guys, I'm not the best, you know, to, uh, to use boats and stuff. So I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty bad at it, at this. I should definitely not be a captain of a crew or something. Uh, just like in one piece or stuff like that because uh, look at it look at the way I'm you know, moving my boat bro <laughs> this this is tough but um, as you can see guys there there it is Arisha is right there so uh, once you're at Arisha guys you gotta know that there's different levels of NPCs and monsters over there uh, there's there are sky scrapers I mean I mean uh, mud skippers uh, there are bandits there are uh, Shirkos, like I said, and there's also rocks, uh, giant rocks, right? So you might find you might find giant rocks and shirkos, uh more at like the upper Arisha. And yeah, there's two parts to Arisha. There's lower Arisha, as you can see over here, and there's also upper Arisha, lower. So it's basically for low level players, and upper Arisha is more of like you know high or mid player level players. Uh, so it's for mid-level players. So actually for here from here you got, might want to go to you know where there's an acid cave Just hope he, he, nobody attacks. Me. First of all once you get over here you might want to know that uh, If you get to like the area over there uh, some NPCs will spawn. I mean uh, monsters So those are mods keepers. They should spawn over here, but so I think low-level players already killed them So you might, oh they hurt what? Here they are. They they they're attacking me at like four, bro. 
so keep um uh, you, you just gotta know that it's really difficult uh to you know uh attack different uh so it's really difficult to attack multiple um mud skippers at the same time so if you're you know what you know what you're doing it might be possible but if you don't know it might be really difficult and it becomes handy bro as you can see if you get a grow like this it might be really difficult for you guys to you know escape their attacks and stuff but when you hand you get a hang of it it's really easy so you also need to know that uh high level players can be here and they actually can you know can attack you and kill you if you don't know so pay attention all right So me as a player, I already know how the game works. So uh, it might be really easy for me, but not. It's not. It might it might not be the case for you guys. All right. So I'm getting I'm getting beat up like this. Hold on, hold on. So you know when I you know guys when I talked about like getting a girl by the mud skippers. So here, as you can see, this is a quick example. I might die over here if I don't if I, I play dumb. All right, this is done. So you can see it can be really dangerous, I guess. If you don't pay attention, it can be really dangerous. So those are you know low level play uh, those are live low level uh, those are low level mobs and monsters, so they they should be really easy to you know, attack and kill. So we might you know I'm going to show you guys uh, how I do my stuff, how I farm uh, mod keepers. Alright. Uh, let's use gold land. Whoa, why didn't what didn't didn't work? And a quick tip guys, uh when they fall, use that moment to you know attack them, right? To swing a little LM1, it will really work. It works a lot. Uh use their landing. They might even block it, but I I would say like at 50% of the time it will they will get damage, they will get damage by here. So as you guys saw, I was basically uh, farming over here EXP and stuff. So this is uh, this port over here is lower Eurasia. So I'm going to show you a quick way to get to upper Eurasia. So this is uh, for you know mid level players. Circles are not easy to fight, but you might be. It is possible, but it's not easy. All right. If you don't have the right equipment, you might die from you know attacking a circle. So yeah, follow, follow head. Oh, this is a chest. I got free chest over here. Go Borg, steal it, steal it. Oh, I didn't. Oh, he did. It. That guy steal it. So you might want to climb over here. Have to climb over here to get at least to Upper Risha. And uh, bandits usually spawn spawn over here. There's also Shurkos who spawn over here. So I don't want to be I don't want to be attacked by Shurkos, but yeah. So this is like you know uh, we're clo we're at Upper Risha right now. At least we're getting that. Whoa. Okay, I'm getting attacked by bandits. All right, let's try to find fight those bandits. I'm about to die, bro. I'm about to die. Oh, this is this is so tough. 
Yo, bro. <laughs> oh man, this is so tough. So this is um, this was a quick tutorial, guys. I uh, just wanted to show you guys how to get to to Arisha. So if you guys uh, found the video helpful, make sure to subscribe. And damn, bro, we're at 31 subscribers, guys. Thank you guys for the support. Thank you for everything. And if this video was helpful, you know, make sure to smash that like button and you know, subscribe. But damn, 31 subscribers. 31 subscribers. This is not this is not this is crazy. Bro.